tech crowd here. So this is the time for the final small adjustments and then um, a few final words about the, the build and how it went. So anyway we put the rest of it together so put the dust filter back on the top. spending several hours trying to, and as you see this is really very well cable managed, something dropped out, what oh, that's for, um, it's ready for, put the back cover on. two ones that need to go back. Little thumb screws. Like that. And then it's time for the glass cover. And this has Double-sided plastic connect protections. And so off. And hopefully, I won't drop it. Don't put too many fingerprints on it. So I think it is symmetrical. Bad. For a cheap case that it was. So, let's get it lighted up. Ah, one last plastic. That's, of course, in the front. And this one needs to. Oh, wow. Yeah. No, oh, I think the. Go all the protection off. So. And it powered up with the lights. Uh, it doesn't look that bad. And I um, was able to successfully reuse a lot of parts that were just lying around, not being used. So. And I mean, I think this would be a. I'm going to be using it as my secondary backup computer, so I think this will be able to do some basic gaming and, and um, definitely watching YouTube videos and yeah, storing stuff. It's cool storage in it. So I think it'll be just fine. So um, that is the word on general experience. I mean this case is 
not the best case in the world. It didn't cost that much either, so I think from the perspective of what I paid for, I'm not really complaining that much. Um, you know, it's, it's always typical with these little bit cheaper cases that you know things don't fit 100%, and you know, the depressing things like you know screw holes don't actually have threads <laughs> and stuff like that. But I mean, uh, otherwise it's okay. Um, yeah, and then uh, I did the triple OS install, um, as you saw in my previous video. And the idea with that was just to you know, highlight the point that you can very well install the latest, a, a latest you know, Linux distribution desktop version of your choice. Uh, if you can install Ubuntu, then you can install Mint or various other distributions that are based on the same platform. You could also install Windows 10 Pro with no complaints. Windows 10 Pro 64-bit went in without a single hic hiccup, works fine. And then we tried um, Windows 11 and um, it told us this hardware here is useless and should be thrown in the garbage or one should spend like, like I said, for the total protection module like anything between 60 euros and a 150 euros depending on if you're going to do it your buy the module yourself and insert it or get somebody else to do it and I think that for the majority of the people I mean why if they're happily running Windows 10 uh, and um, I, I don't really I mean Microsoft is going to change this policy so I, I expect that a matter of months Especially when it comes to corporate customers, they, they can't have this policy. It's it's ludicrous. So, uh, I mean, they're they're ex excluding it based on um, uh, processor type and um, the need to have hardware, a hardware encryption device, and and I, I think that's um, yeah. I, I I mean, I do understand that you get. Uh, heightened security if you have a certain levels of CPU functionality which provides you better protection or even a hardware encryption module that protects your keys and stuff but but I mean really for standard consumers or even corporates for that matter to to ask them to create even more electronic junk in the world and especially when we have a component shortage ongoing I, I think that's actually just uh, yeah, it, it's gonna fail like totally not very many people are gonna and and plus the thing is the Windows 11 has some like typical with Microsoft operating systems they always have first out the gate hiccups so it's it's gonna be updated a lot you know and, and especially when there's issues with gaming and stuff but anyway I'm happy with this this will serve as a good second computer backup computer so I um, thought this worked out as a good build as I said was able to actually reuse lots of electronics um, that otherwise would have ended up on the endless pile of electronics waste which is we have too much of in this world anyway so anyway if you enjoyed this video press the like um, yeah uh, ch check out the playlist and um, you can watch the whole series uh, if you'd like to support the channel you could buy me a cup of coffee or buy some merch the links are in the description all the funds will go directly to support the channel and building different types of projects for example like this one and um, oh, I hope you enjoyed this series and uh, see you in the next one <laughs>